Welcome back Sunday evening, probably when you're watching this. Um, so, two things I'm going to try in this uh, video. Like I said, I'm going to try, firstly, my dad, and I'm sure many of your fathers, of a, if you're a certain age, <laughs> he didn't drink it from a bottle, he drank it from the, from the tap, from the pump, you know, the mild. And this was a gift from um, one of the colleagues I work with in, well, in work, and it's a Green King uh, mild. It comes as part of, I think he had it from Aldi, part of a selection of beers, and there's two of these and two other things. So I'm going to put it in this glass, which is similar to what my dad would have had it in. It's ice cold, it's been in the fridge for a long, long time. Here we go. So if you're not into, this is just a vlog trying this. I'm trying some pork scratchings, ghost chilli. Uh, it could be quite loud, so bear with me with your volume. Just watch your, um, and that's what we're trying. Um, hot shots, extreme chilli, pork crackling, the ghost. Be afraid, be very afraid. Got nervous now. Thank you, Lee and Jamie from Mr. and Mrs. H from Wolverhampton. Thank you very much. Have I got room for this? Uh, I'd be very proud if that goes in there. Oh, nearly. Anyway, let's have a cheers. There used to be a much better head on the beer from the pump, so let's see if it reminds me of. Yeah, it's similar. It's got the mild taste, yeah. This seems to be more gassy. Has more um, carbonation. I remember the, the mild from the pump. But it's from a bottle, obviously, but uh, the one from the pump used to be a bit creamier. Uh, a bit more like a bitter, you know, that creamy. Oh. So before we start, again, got this thing, I wonder if any chilies left on this. It gets washed that off. It's warm, the weather's going to change again, get hotter. A um, couple of weeks, I think, this time. But uh, anyway, talking of hotter. Oh, they smell. God, <laughs> do you know what they look Can you, can you see them? They, they smell like the pork scratchings my dad used to get from the pub. Help yourself. Should I be nervous? Oh yeah, wow. Excuse the noise. Oh, they're delicious. Beer and these, Ooh, dangerous. Firstly, pork scratchings, pork rinds. See, we've got two types in this country. One is like a fluffy, airy, bubbly type. And then there's the proper rinds, the proper skin. These are lovely. Okay, so in regards to heat, there's a slight hint of something there. Eh? Hmm. So the more you eat, it's a bit of a coating in the mouth. That's a good way to describe it. A bit of a coating, but there's nothing. Hot. Lovely though. Lee and Jamie, you're lucky you can buy them. So local. They're fantastic. So thank you for sending me two bags. 
meal today was lovely. I forgot, did I forget to tell you? On here, or on the shave this morning, I had a fried egg on the gammon. I don't do pineapple. Pineapple is for dessert. Now, if you like it, that's good. That's not my thing. Um, I like the egg. That's my option. Gammon, egg, chips, peas, mushrooms, um, and onion rings. <laughs> and now these, life too good, isn't it? Nice change, but I have to say, I would drink it again. But I prefer the, from the pump, the old mild used to get. I, I don't know if you can still get it, you know, it's a shame. Anyway, while I'm here, looking through a few drawers, I got drawers of stuff here. What the hell? This shouldn't be here. I found this trying triangle. Trangier, Trangier, some people think Trangier, I call it. Well, what the hell is it now? It says on the top. It's a mini, I must have bought that. I don't know how long ago. I never used it. Some idea or other. There's a cooking pot, tongs, and there's the lid and acts as a frying pan. I guess. Oh, books! I don't. I used to read a lot of books, but I found, you know, the paranormal stuff. Some of these were gifts. Haunted Cluid. Now our county used to be called Cluid. It's now called Denbyshire. But Haunted Cluid. That's Plasteg. That near Wrexham. Um, yeah, amazing place. I'm sure it is. Wait a minute, Richard. Richard Holland wrote the book. Um, well, first published 1992 by Gwask Garig Gwalch Capel Garmon. My wife's home now. Yeah. I'm just trying to. See if the number eight. Um, plus tag. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's. Well, it's very similar, but I think it is. Um, good tells you the local things in Wales before 1066. A guide. Uh, sentenced to hell. The story of men and women transported from North Wales between 1730 and 1878. Imprisoned. It's a, you know, it's a cruel life, wasn't it? And this is very interesting. I had this a couple of years now, a few years. Um, the ghost stories from the North Wales Asylum, which it used to be called before the North Wales Hospital, by Peter Glynn. I know Peter from Denby. A picture in there. Looks like something out of Star Trek in that. Um, he used to work there about 25 years, lived there, worked there, nights, and he told many stories of ghosts and happenings and all sorts of stuff. All I'm trying to get some. If there's a picture to show you. If I can find the link, it might be still on the. That was his room in the nurse's home. Uh, you can see that, I don't know. That must have been him studying, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of pictures there. Yeah. Anyway, if there's a link to that, I'll put it on the. to his Amazon. 
worth a read. Oh, do you know what I'm having for my sort of supper? I'll probably finish these actually. Um, some of the spare. Some has gone in the freezer. But a little bit spare of the uh, chili con carne. Oh, it's lovely. And the next day, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, and Tesco sunblast bread. Can't get it all the time now. So this is from the freezer. After this, we're having the butty bach. That's a good Welsh name for you, boy. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? From the Y Valley. Oh. Um, have we done much today? I like just I'm trying to go settle steady not to be too loud so so the verdict love them thank you so much um that will be finished tonight I can't leave things like that alone lethal opening oh, stuff like that um Flavours gorgeous, like the old scratchings, and now you've eaten a few of them. There's a nice, just a nice coating in the mouth. Um, I wouldn't say they're over, they're hot or anything like that. That's for me, but they are beautiful. I like the fact there's something there. So you like scratchings, you like heat, and you like beer. That's that's all that really matters. Really. So thank you, uh, Lee and Jamie. Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, so sorry to bother you again if you've watched this. Um, it was just a quick little video, you know, to try them really. I'm very grateful. Um, and that is it. So, about an hour or so, I'll, uh, as I say, do this chili con carne and uh, some garlic bread, and it's always better the next day. Um, and it should, uh, all the heat should have infused in it as well. Yeah, so I'll leave you to it. All the best. Have a great rest of the weekend. Sunday night. But have a good start to next week. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, whenever that is. So take care. All the best. Bye-bye.